I'm going to talk about um, the difference between up and down regulation because it can be a kind of confusing topic. All right, the quick and easy definition of up and down regulation is down regulation is that receptors become less sensitive, hence going down. Up regulation is that uh, receptors become more sensitive, hence up. Now I'm going to go into more detail, don't worry. Okay. So, um, desensi desensitization means that even though they're receiving all the stimulus, they're not going to react with the same intensity. So you know how like when um, drug addicts, they take like their first like shot of marijuana or whatever, not a shot, they take their first smoke of marijuana, they get like a high, right? And But then the second time they do it, it's usually not as strong as their first high because um, they're going to be desensitized to it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So like how, you know how they always say that don't let kids watch violence on TVs because they become desensitized. Like mm -hmm. less than like the amount of violence has to keep increasing, increasing in, for, in order to to affect them. Like what they used to think was like horrible now is like nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of the same way with receptors. So you, you have, here's your plasma membrane or whatever, and you have receptors, right? So just like everything else in the body. Um, receptors are going to degrade and break down after a period of time. So like you know how your dead skin cells slough off and like your hair dies and like your bones have to be broken down, just everything in the body breaks down. So receptors are no different. Receptors um, sometimes can start dying if they don't have enough nutrients or if there's not enough energy supplied to them. So they'll lose their ability to respond to hormones. Are, we, are you with me so far? So they start getting weak or whatever. So you might have you might have started out with like a bunch of different receptors, but after some of them die or they get broken down, now maybe you only have one functioning receptor now. So the cell, which is this is the cell, is going to be less sensitive to the hormone because it only has it has a less amount of receptors now. Does that make sense? The more receptors you have, the more it can react to the hormone. With less amount of receptors, it can't react as much. Yeah. Would that be considered down regulation? Yeah, I'm talking about down regulation. Because okay. it's becoming less sensitive to the hormone, right? So this is in a normal situation. It has a bunch of receptors. Whee! Bunch. So hormones are coming in, and they're binding. And so the, and so the cell is reacting normally. But after a period of time, uh, receptors start degenerating, and they're not working anymore. So now maybe you only have like one functioning receptor. So the cell is not going to be able to respond as, as usual. Does that make sense? So that's down regulation. Um, an example of this in the body is um, sometimes when a receptor is overloaded with a hormone too much, it becomes desensitized. Like I said, like a drug addict who takes drugs too much, like it doesn't affect them like the way it used to. Um, so like I I saw this one video when I was a kid I saw Snow White and I thought it was I was like scared to death because of the because of the hag the witch lady now I watch and it's like nothing because I've been desensitized because I see worse things on TV now right so this is a cell and it's receiving hormones like a a whole lot of them let's say like someone's going through puberty okay so during puberty there's a lot of hormones involved so you have like a zillion hormones coming in and overwhelming the cell, okay? And it's like, it's like, oh, it's too much. So they become desensitized. So like they stop responding as much as they used to. So they become desensitized. So an example of this in the body is, like I said, during puberty, um, they do it, they did an experiment. Some of the scientists did an experiment in like a, in the lab in a Petri dish. You know, Petri dish is just like a, like a little test tube. So they had like a Petri dish, Petri dish, and they took um, some cells and put them in there. And then what they did was they so they put a hormone in there called GN, was it GNRH, gonadotropin releasing hormone, which is one of the ones that have to do with reproduction and sexual maturity and all that stuff. So they, it, they secreted um, the hormone GNRH into the Petri dish. And since it was highly concentrated, um, it overwhelmed the cells and they became desensitized. So they stopped responding to GNRH even though there was a lot of it in there. Does that make sense so far? They're becoming less sensitive to it even though there was a bunch of it all over the place. So in order to avoid this from happening in the body, because if your body started secreting a lot of GNRH, your cells would become 
like it wouldn't become it, it would be desensitized so like that'd be bad if you're trying to go through puberty and you have like a a big flux of GMRH and all of a sudden your cells just become desensitized so they stop responding to it you're gonna like stop halfway through puberty you know what I'm saying so in order to prevent down regulation this is down regulation becoming desensitized in order to prevent that what the body does instead of sending out like a massive swarm of hormones all at the same time because then it would desensitize the cell what it does is it sends short bursts like short bursts every few hours instead of like a big swarm all at once. They do a, f a short burst every so often so that it doesn't become overly desensitized. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, any questions so far? Okay, so now let's move on to um, up regulation. That's down regulation when they become less sensitive. So up regulation is the opposite. Up regulation is when the cell normally has maybe like one, oops, maybe has like one receptor. And let's call this the ovary because this is the most applicable circumstance. Let's say this is the ovary. You know, you're 11 years old, whatever, young girl. Then one day, um, your pituitary gland is gonna start secreting, you know, the hormones for reproduction, whatever. So you're going to have um, an increased amount of LH, which is luteinizing hormone which is going to stimulate the production of more receptors in the ovaries. So all of a sudden you're gonna be, they use the word synthesize. Synthesize just means the word to make or build. So if they say receptor synthesis, or what do they say on here? They say an increase in the rate of receptor molecule synthesis. That just means they're making more, more receptors. So in the ovary, when there's a bunch of LH being produced, they're gonna create even more receptors and creating more receptors does what it makes the cell more more sensitive more sensitive right so creating more receptors is going to make it more sensitive so it's going to be up regulation up increase so lh promotes the receptor synthesis of more so that fsh which is follicle stimulating hormone follicle in this case referring to you know the, you know how women have eggs that make babies or whatever inside the ovary there's going to be eggs and they're called follicles or fo follicles and follicle stimulating hormone is going to um stimulate these to become mature so like they're before puberty they're not mature they're just kind of like sitting there waiting and then once you have puberty they become more mature and then when one of them becomes ready it's going to exit out of the ovary and come out during menstruation when you have your period right so every month they're gonna produce a lot of LH, which is going to give you a bunch of receptors so that FSH can bind to the receptors, causing the maturation of the, hold on, maturation of the, cell, of the eggs, which causes a period. Is menses the same? Yeah, I mean, menses is the same thing as period, which is okay. menstruation. Okay. So did that make sense? I feel like um, I went a little fast with that one. It made sense? What yeah. is FSH? Okay, real quick re recap. Every month, because you need to have your period every month, right? This is your ovary. Every month, your pituitary gland, is it pituitary gland? Um, yeah, it's going to secrete a bunch of LH. LH is going to cause you to increase your number of receptors, increase the de synthesis of, mo of receptor molecules, according to the book, okay? So an increase in LH is going to increase your receptors. An increase in receptors means that the cell is more sensitive to the, ho the hormone FSH. FSH, when it binds to the receptors that are now there because of LH, FSH is going to cause the eggs or the oocytes or the gametes, they're all the same thing, eggs, oocytes, gametes, in the ovary to become mature. And when it becomes ready, it's going to be ejected outside of, of the girl's body in menstruation. So exiting is menstruation and then of course you know after menstruation happens once I can get to you after menstruation happens your pituitary gland stops producing LH because you don't need to have your period again so you don't have as many receptors anymore it goes back to normal so you just have a normal receptive to FSH so that you're not causing these eggs to be ejected again 
Do you have a question? Yeah. Are you giving an example of where that happens in the bot, in, in like in our body, or is just what normally happens? This is an example um, of of other of of regulation. So this it's, it's the most easiest example okay. I can think of. That it's it's. Up regulation is from chapter 17, but FSH is from chapter 18. She's just applying them together. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm applying what you know from both because, yeah, up regulation just means becoming more sensitive. So what once a month, once a month you become more sensitive to LH because you, because you become, sorry, once a month you become more sensitive to FSH, which is going to cause your eggs to become mature because LH made you have more receptors. Okay. Does that make sense? Any other question? Okay, we're good. So 